Okay, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are entering the top 50 NFL players of all time. I really hope you've enjoyed the videos that have come so far. I've put a lot of effort into them, although sometimes it may not seem that way, but I do, you know, and I really hope you enjoy them. I'm enjoying them. This series was always going to be a mission. It's proving to be one, but we are at number 50, Terry Bradshaw. Let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh, he always seemed a little socially awkward. When he got on the field, was he a killer? Were they afraid of him? You're damn right they were. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I'm wearing a green beanie. I don't know if the I don't know if the green's gonna work with this uh, green screen behind me. So hold on, see. Let's make it a Patriots hat. <laughs> don't hold it against me, guys. I do like Tom Brady. Who doesn't? Let's go. Old Tezza. Old Terry Bradshaw. This is the story of the quarterback who came in from the cold. First overall pick of the 1970 draft, Terry Bradshaw. Steelers? Well, in that case. Whoa! Oh, got one of those two. The struggles of being a young quarterback, withering criticism from Steelers coach Chuck Knoll and the Pittsburgh press, even questions about his intelligence. He was a bit of a delicate personality, a Bradshaw. Tough guy on the field, beast, but you know, he had some uh, uh, in insecurities. Yeah, I don't go out to the restaurants that I used to frequent. Uh, don't read the newspapers because they're going to say bad things about you. Uh, so you, you're crushed a little bit there. Fuck, man. Can you imagine that? Not wanting to read the newspapers anymore because you're afraid of what you what you'll see. I can honestly associate that with what I feel sometimes with the YouTube channel. After putting a video out or a, a couple of videos that I think, you know, I, I might have said something or done something that could come across the wrong way, for me to then go and check the comments and read through every single one and, and take all that, it's um, it can be actually quite crippling because you you, you don't want to do it, and you. You know, you get anxious and anxious and more anxious and the longer you leave it, the more days you leave it without checking, you get more anxious and then eventually you just realise, nah, I'm being stupid, I need to go check it. And then you do. And then it's usually not as bad. But for Terry here, I feel for him. I do. And that's before social media. That's just with print paper. Imagine, <laughs> imagine today. Imagine what some of these players go through, man, when they do fuck up. When they do something stupid, they fuck up on the field, they might lose a game for their team. Not easy, man. Not easy to deal with. So much scrutiny. He isn't stupid. You watch him on Fox. He's stupid like he's stupid like a fox. The resentment and the anger I had for being called dumb and booed and pushed in and out of the lineup, you learn to use it as a tool. Sometimes the easiest plays. Yeah, he might have been balding a bit early, but he's not stupid. Come on, guys. The B is in the crucible. All the bull falls away. All the crap of you answering questions. Get out there and the day, play. When you're back in that Show pocket them. and you got Jack Youngblood flying past your head at the speed of light, it is the most peaceful place you can be because it's bing bang. Was it best for him to get out of his own head and just use the fact that he was like the, the javelin champion of the United States for like 10 years? Yeah, the guy had a freaking gun. It's one of the five best guns that ever played the game. It's Namath, it's Elway, it's Marino. The bing bang of it, see receiver, throw receiver, throw deep, baby. Right on the money. <laughs> he wasn't actually a javelin champion though, was he? We need to look that up. Spark my interest now. Or was he just saying that because he had a big arm? If he was the javelin champion, and then went on to be a great quarterback, that would be pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. He played for 14 seasons with Pittsburgh, 
won four Super Bowl titles in a six year period, 74, 75, 78 and 79, becoming the first quarterback to win three and four Super Bowls. He was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 89 in his first year of eligibility. Holy shit, he's known for having one of the most powerful arms in NFL history. He also called his own plays throughout his football career. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hmm. When he was a teenager, he attended Woodland, Woodlawn High School, played under assistant coach A.L. Williams, and led the Knights to a 65 AAA high school championship game. While at Woodlawn, he set a national record for throwing the javelin 245 feet, 74.68 metres. His exploits earned him a spot in the Sports Illustrated feature Faces in the Crowd. Bradshaw's successor at Woodlawn's starting quarterback was another future NFL standout, Joe Ferguson of the Buffalo Bills. Bradshaw's Steelers would defeat Ferguson's Bills in a 1974 divisional playoff game. It's amazing how things come full circle. So he had a Javelin national record at high school. No wonder he had a pretty good arm. Free Bradshaw is what he got in a bind. You better have your cup on, man, because it was coming in at Noli Ryan's feet. This guy's having fun, isn't he? He found <laughs> sanctuary. In his arm and his anger, he found strength. But only on football's biggest stage did Terry Bradshaw find redemption and joy. Four Super Bowls. Come on, mate. Come down right now. Terry, what can I do for you? Send me, put me back in one Super Bowl. Let me hear the name over the loudspeaker. Let me hear the roar of the crowd, man. Oh, man. And put me on the one foot line and give me two minutes to go and give me all three of my timeouts and give me my boys. Let me get in the call play, see the eyes roll as I call these plays and talk to them. Let me feel the hair on my back crawl up. I mean, that's what the Super Bowl does to you. That was described absolutely amazingly. That got the hairs standing up in the back of my neck, man. Bradshaw Steelers won four Super Bowls. He was the MVP in two of them. Getting dinged against the Cowboys and throwing that past the Swanee it was a pretty beautiful play. Boom! Shit! Double fist right to the face. pocket just a little, buys himself a second, and then the beastie throw right out of the slotty for it all. I mean, that's beautiful stuff. That is beautiful. And every fourth quarter of every Super Bowl, I came through with a big play. Go to Super Bowl 14 and take that touchdown pass at the end of the game to John Stallman. That's who I am. That's who I am. Terry Bradshaw. We all show up at jobs where we don't necessarily think we were working for at certain points in our life. Turns out it was a perfect marriage because the proof's in the pudding. The guy's got more rings than a married pimp. And you know something? That's what matters at the end of the day. It is what matters. It's instant respect. Four Super Bowls, MVP in two of those, that's that's respect, mate. All right, we're in the 40s. I feel good about it. I hope you guys do too. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'll see you back here for Mike Haynes, number 49, the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time. Peace out, everybody.